In this short video, we're going to talk about um, the basics of editing feature services and how it's all about what AutoCAD layer things reside on. I'm going to go ahead and add a feature service layer to my drawing in ArcGIS for AutoCAD and I'm going to um, go ahead and add some fire hydrants and some water meters in the area that I'm looking at here on the screen by selecting the current view. When these objects are added from ArcGIS for our, our ArcGIS server into my AutoCAD drawing, it also creates a tool palette that assists me essentially in putting things on the right layer. ArcGIS for AutoCAD automatically generates AutoCAD layers um, with the ESRI prefix um, that that deal with each feature service layer in my drawing. The symbology that I choose for each of these layers is then reflected in objects that land on this layer from ArcGIS for AutoCAD. So if I use the tool palette, it's going to allow me to basically place these point objects on the correct layer. In this case, it's the um, Esri underscore uh, meter and hydrant layers. Um, so I'll add two of each into the drawing. Um, then I'll, um, whenever I add points on a layer, it's going to assume that it belongs to a certain feature class. In this case, the, it qualifies as being a meter, and I see, so I see all of the different default values for a water meter. Um, when I take a look at the attributes. And similarly, when I take a look at the fire hydrants, um, they have fire hydrant attributes, or at least the default values for me to edit. Now I can go ahead and change um, the AutoCAD layer that an entity resides on here by using the layer toolbar in AutoCAD. And so I've changed this um, this point that was in a fire hydrants layer and changed it to a meter layer and now I see that um, it now qualifies as a water meter and no longer qualifies as a fire hydrant because of the AutoCAD layer that it resides on. I'm going to do the same thing here in reverse and I'm going to take these two water meters and change their layer so that they qualify as fighter hydrants. And so I could edit the fire hydrant attribute. So now if I go ahead and synchronize these um, it's going to add the different features to the appropriate feature service based on the AutoCAD layer. So I've got three new fire hydrants and I'm going to have one new water meter. And I can go ahead and, and accept that because that's what I've created, the one meter and the three fire hydrants. You'll see that the um, features were added to the geodatabase and the map service in the background that's based on the server objects has been painted with the three fire hydrants and the single meter. I can um, still continue to edit these objects in my drawing because I have these features in my drawing for editing and I can say well actually I wanted these to be meters after all and change their AutoCAD layer to be the appropriate layer for um, these water meter features. And um, likewise I could um, do some more editing. I could you know edit their attributes and fill in the different meter attributes um, because they are on the appropriate layer for a water meter they're no longer fire hydrants and so I've essentially deleted them. I'm going to go ahead and actually delete this entity entirely and so I'm going to in effect have deleted three fire hydrants and added two water meters by changing their geometry of those two fire hydrants to be qualifying as water meters. So when I synchronize with the server, you'll see that um, I've essentially deleted those three fire hydrants, two of them by just changing the layer they're on, and one by deleting it. And then I've added, essentially, or effectively added two water meters because now I have point geometries on those layers. And when I synchronize, I see the updated map service showing my three water meters. Here I'm going to use another example of how layers work with feature services on a feature service layer that contains subtypes. So this is one feature service layer that has two different kinds of objects. They're, they're, they're both um, water structures, but there's two different kinds of water structures. And each one of them is going to get their own water, each one is going to get their own AutoCAD layer, as well as a third layer, which is any water structure that may not be a tank or a tower. Um, my tool palette is updated so that I can place objects appropriately on the right layer. So I'll grab a couple of these tower structures and then, then I'll grab a, a uh, tank structure as well. So these are going to help me place them on the correct layer. When, when I synchronize I can see that three objects have been added to my water structures layer 
um, and there's just different types of them. And so I see them um, in the map service painted as two towers and a tank. Well, actually, I wanted to do these in the reverse. These actually should be tanks, so I'm going to change the AutoCAD layer that they reside on and make the changes so that um, I have the two tanks and the single tower. And then when I synchronize my changes with the server, I'll see that I'll have three objects that have been updated or modified uh, all within the same water structures feature layer. So subtypes in ArcGIS for AutoCAD are handled in the same way essentially as different feature layers. And there you have it, working with feature layers in ArcGIS for AutoCAD.